standing, wherever you might be. We're going to take a look at a handmade SOG style fixed blade combat knife that I made out of an old horse hoof rasp. And I just patterned it to look like that SOG 5th Special Forces knife. So it's got a similar look. The upper swedge doesn't come back quite as far as a SOG. The blade's a little bit longer, got a 7 inch blade. I had thought about bringing this on bag, but I thought it looked nice right there. It was fine. Did an aggressive hollow grind down to about a 5 to 8 degree secondary cutting edge. It's razor sharp. Fabricated the guard and the pommel out of commercial bronze. Just uh, sealed it off there, locked it out with a titanium drill bit. And um, then this is all JB welded in there. Just got a swivel on there for my pommel end piece for a lanyard. This is a West Country wrap, paracord wrap. I'm a really big fan of the John Eck Commando knife, so I'm still. Still dig the paracord wrap, but you know, something like this, of course you could put G10 handles on it, I could. And I'm gonna make a couple more of these and I'm gonna do a stack leather, more traditional look with a stack leather handle. So I thought it came out pretty decent. And this, um, this is W2 tool still. And what you have to do with it is you have to temper it down or it would be too brittle. So I temper it down in the oven at 450, do that twice, let it cool slowly, and that lowers your Rockwell hardness. Then we can get in there and work on that blade. And I just use a cooling process of water spray when I'm removing these grinds, the primary grinds. This is 3 8 inch thick, 7 inch blade, 4 and 3 quarter inch handle. Just got it in a ballistic double retention tactical sheath with a accessory pouch and I thought it came out really pretty good for a handmade hope you guys enjoyed this I'll catch you guys down the road